All right, I think I'm gonna pull some ball pythons out, show you a couple of the animals that I have, and then I'm working with, um, I think we'll start with the Killer Bee Ghost. This is a super pastel spider ghost. And to be honest, I don't know if I like her as much as I like the regular humblebee. But she's a nice looking animal, that's for sure. Then, here's a ghost that I produced. She's pretty. I think Mark has one of the ghosts I produced. You should see what he has. That's just a little pastel ghost I produced from somebody else's line of ghosts. Not a bad looking dude. Girl. Let's see, I have an emperor pin that I just picked up. Well, I produced a male and I traded it out for a female. I have a nice little pastel lesser. This thing's gorgeous. I have a nice little butter genetic stripe who's big enough, but he's hung like Rodney. And let's see, I have a little butter bee. She's kind of a picky little bitch. She had a frozen thawed rat mouse yesterday, but. I hate her. This is a Butterbee male I'm trying to get rid of. So, uh, anybody who's looking to buy one, let me know. There's a couple pastel butters, possible heck ghost. Pastel Mystic male that I don't know if they're that great or not. I like what they produce, but you know, that's just an ugly fucking pastel. Even though it's a mystic pastel. Here's a mystic female. Lesser B Heck Ghost. And this is the uh, fucking Freedom Breeder Rust. What pieces of shit these things are. And we'll leave it with the Champagne Heck Ghost. Got a little dinker project I'm working with. I don't know if it's anything, but she was definitely the odd one in the clutch. See if I can show you. Black pastel ghost. Who's apparently thinking cuddling is how it gets done. And then I'll show you the humble bee. You tell me that doesn't look a lot better than the freaking killer bee ghost. And he's on a pastel heck ghost.